Okay, I'll be reviewing uh, the adding and subtracting of integers, uh, both with the positive uh, and the negatives, like these two here for 16 and 18. And I'll do some other ones as well, and also the composite figures. So remember, think of this as distributing this negative here to this positive. So if you did do a negative times a positive, it would turn into a negative 1. Because remember, you're adding... I mean, you're subtracting a positive. You're getting rid of a positive. So that would be like subtracting 1. So then you have negative 4 and a negative 1, which would equal a negative 5. Similarly here on number 18, but for number 18, you're subtracting a negative. You're getting rid of a negative. That would turn it into a positive. So now you would have a negative 7 and a positive 9. You should know your answer will be positive because there's more for the 9 because that's positive and less for the negative which is 7. So you're, you would then subtract these two numbers. 9 minus 7 would be 2. Remember, subtracting a positive, subtracting 9. This would turn into minus 9 and you have a negative 9 here, negative 9 and a negative 9 would total negative 18. Remember, if they're the same sign, find the sum. Remember, same thing. Negative to positive turns it to negative. You have a positive 5, negative 4. Your answer will be positive. Subtract the two numbers, 5 minus 4 is 1. So I recommend you always put this line, even if it's a 0, even though the 0 won't change the value here, put that line there. You can still put minus 0, which technically won't do anything, but you can just put that there and practice doing this. Same thing here. Minus a negative turns into positive. So just do that. Every time you get one of these, minus a negative turns into positive minus a positive turns into a negative. And then once again, if the signs are the same, find the sum of the two numbers. Negative 4 and negative 5 gives you negative 9. If the signs are opposite, like this one's going to be, negative minus negative turns into positive. You have a negative and a positive. Use the sign of the bigger number and then subtract. 8 minus 7 is 1. Now to the composite figures. So remember for all these composite figures, if there's not already lines of separation drawn like this one here, it already has lines of separation. This will be separating it into a half circle and two triangles. So I'll start with the circle first. Now remember, this is going to be half a circle. So we're going to do this entire equation, but then have it over 2. So we'll get the area of the half circle, but we're going to divide it by 2. Area is pi r squared. We're going to put that over 2 because we're going to just do half because this is half a circle, not a full circle. So area equals 3.14. Now this gives us the diameter here. All the way across from end to end here is 10. We don't need 10. We need the radius, which would be half of that, which would be 5. So then we continue. Area equals 3.14 times 5 squared. And 5 squared is 5 times 5, which is 25. Then from here, you can use the calculator to do 3.14 times 25. And you get 78.5. But remember, we're going to divide that by 2. So we'll do 78.5 divided by 2, and we get 39.25. So that's just for that one half circle. Now we can look at the triangles here. So this one has a height of 21. And let me erase some lines here to help you see the base. So the height is 21. The base is down here. 
So if the entire distance across is 10, this base would be 5. So we're going to do the formula for the area of the triangle. Area equals 1 half base times height. So we already determined the base was 5, and the height is 21. Let me put the 5 there for the base. So we can do half of 5. Half of 5 would be 2.5, and then multiply that by 21. You may do that in the calculator if you need to, 2.5 times 21. And you should get 52.5. But now remember, this is for one of these triangles, 52.5. You can assume the other one would be 52.5 based on the measurements that you see here. So then lastly, you can either with calculator or by hand, just add 52.5 plus 52.5 plus 39.25. And I'll show the answers. You can pause it if needed to check your work. This would be the answer there for this one. And then here's the rest of the answers as well. Pause as needed. And remember to go back and check your work. Some of them will be much simpler than that one, like uh, number six here should be pretty easy. Just separate this into two rectangles. So you can draw a line right here. The difficult part here is figuring out how much each section is but just use the clues that are given to you. So this section here is 18, just from here to here. This entire section here is 18. And now you gotta use your thinking skills down here on the bottom to figure out what this whole section is. But you see that this is 18 from here to here, and this is 20 from here to here. So just add those together, this entire section would be 38. <coughs> so to start here, you would do 38 times 18. You can do that in a calculator, 38 times 18. And for this rectangle part here, you get 684. Then for this part, you have 20 inches here. This will be for this section. Now you need to figure out this one. This should be relatively easy. You see this entire section here is 21, all the way from top to bottom. And compared to the other side, this side is 18. So it only leaves this section here. So 21 minus the 18 that you see on the other side here, that leaves this with 3. So then you would just do 20 times 3, which is 60, and you would add 60 plus 684, and yeah, that would give you the answer to number 6. And that should be just below it here with 744. So remember, just split these into separate shapes, draw the lines, use the formula. If it's a half circle, divide the equation by, true, by 2, and just do the same formula for area. And use the figures that you have here to get the other numbers for the lines.